Hello, my name is Shane, aka Daddy Bear, and this is Daddy Bean, aka Jelly Bean, and Cream Monster and Brownie Hound. Exactly, and welcome to the first edition of Brownie Hounds. Today, we are going to be looking at uh, da -da -da -da, Universal Yums. It's backwards. Um, we, this is actually the third box that we have received. Um, the first two boxes we just went through and we wanted to see how they were. Um, the very first one was kind of cool. It was from Brazil. Yeah, it was very really yummy, but the second one was not very good. It was gross. The second one was from Taiwan. Yeah, it was, and I really liked it. No, it had some cool stuff. Yeah. It just, kind of, it was fun to look at. But not yeah. our favorite. But this one is from the UK. Um, this one I already know is going to be really good. Because one thing I know is there are a lot of really good chocolate companies. And there are a lot of cool snacks that come from the UK. Um, one of my favorite things that used to come from the UK was Cadbury. Um, I like Cadbury. Um, they're a lot of Easter candy as far as you know here in the States. But but um, also Mars bars, um, the original Mars bars. But anyway, let's let's get into this box. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite candy? If you had to eat only, if you only had one kind of candy, what do you think that would be? The s'more kind of candy? S'more kind of candy. S'more, like a s'more flake. No, I mean candy that you've seen, that you've had. Mm -hmm. You don't know? Maybe gum? Oh my goodness. I would say gum. Welcome to the UK. Alright, this is going to be very I can already tell that this is going to be very good. Okay, so with these boxes, the really cool thing that comes with them is it comes with a passport. Um, and it basically will show you, um, it'll have trivia, it has, um, it, it has explanations of different... Um, different candies and salty snacks that come in these. I can already tell that this one is going to be amazing. Amazing. This one looks yummy. Um, stay with us. Stay with us. I know you're excited about it, but you, you need to tell these people what's going on. Um, um, amazing descriptions, and th this is very fun. I would say Universal Yums is probably... A, a cool thing to look forward to um, and they have different sizes of the subscriptions that you can do uh -huh. um, it's been really fun so far um, so you also have a rating system here and it has different um, awards and levels up uh, best yum runner up worst yum most unusual yum which is really fun actually we had a lot of very unusual ones um, the first time with the Brazil. Um, and then they have all of the ones that come in this size package that we get, which is the uh, mid-size package. It's not the largest, but it is um, not the smallest either. Um, and it'll show you all of the different yums that you get. And they're generally range between candy, sweet, and um, usually some salty snacks as well. Further ado, let's get into this oh and also i um so since it is part of the united kingdom you have things from scotland wales northern ireland and of course england um that's right that's right all right so let's we'll put this we'll put this over here right now first things first so mackies of scotland Haggis and cracked pepper. Okay, if you don't know what haggis is, 
I'm I'm a chef actually is my regular job. Um, and haggis is actually a sheep's belly filled with uh, generally um, barley. Um, you'll have uh, you know you'll have some carrot, celery, onions, but you'll have barley, and that'll be the grain normally. It's actually really really good. It sounds gross, but it's actually the description of it sounds gross, but it's actually very good. It's a very um, hearty meal, but it's it's I like it. I actually think it's quite good. Um, so this is a potato chip. Um, uh, it looks good, but let's let's uh, so Mackey's of Scotland. Let's let's get into this. What do you think? Let's give it a try. I'm so happy. Well, we're gonna try it. Wait, does does it have kind of me, uh, no, 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 it doesn't. It's a potato chip. Give it a try. Mm -hmm. Penelope is was concerned because it is, uh, it is, uh, yeah, she's vegetarian anyway. Um, Bleh. not a fan. No, I'm gonna go get water real quick. No, um, no, we don't need water right now. We have to, we have to go through this, okay? It's part of it. Um, I like them. Um, okay, grab your water. Anyway, I think they're rather good. Um, it tastes kind of like a, if you've ever had a, uh, um, the stick potatoes that come in the cans, uh, that uh, little matchstick potatoes, uh, potato chips that came come in little cans in the store. Um, the first time I saw them was back in the '80s when I was a younger kid. But uh, I think they're rather good. I'd say they're good. I wouldn't say they're super unique, but I would say that they're pretty good. Um, let's move on. We'll, we'll move past Ooh. a salty one. So, what is it called? the first one that I want to look at, though, um, was see the, the one. okay, but, um, hold on, you're, you have to, you have to talk to them. You know, there's, there's, I know you're excited, but let's keep our excitement down. I'm excited as well. Um, this first one, see, like it says, contains no meat so you knew you were safe but this looks bananas yeah. so chewy bonbons Ooh. bristos chewy bonbons um this looks it looks exciting um they are uh Um, it looks amazing. Let's get into it. Um, rhubarb. Okay. Hmm. Smells good. Give it a smell. Ooh. Smells like banana and like strawberry. Chewy bonbons. Very wild packaging. Very wild. Very wild packaging. Let's. Very. Mmm. I like mine black. It tastes like taffy. Mine's not chewy yet. Like saltwater taffy. It gets tangy and salty. Really good. What do you think? Like a 1 out of 10. No, I like 10 and 10. That is. But then you can't go any higher. Why would you pick a 10? You can't go any higher than 10. So now you're stuck. And nothing. It, what if you find some? I would say a good score would be like a 7.5. I think a 7.5 is good. It's not going to be the best thing that I find. I don't think. You, so you think this is the best thing you've ever tasted in your entire life? That's... I really like it. Wildly unacceptable. Okay. <laughs> um, move on. Um, 
I say let's go back for a salty one again. Can we? Hold. What? Can we swallow that? So this. It's it's candy. It's edible. What okay. what, what, what did you think we were eating? I thought it was gum. Um, this one also Mackey's of Scotland, another chip. It seems like they have a couple different things in Mackey's of Scotland. This might be a new brand for me. Ridge cut sea salt and cider vinegar. Oh, these are going to be like salt and vinegar chips, I believe. They look good. What do you think? Um... I can tell the difference in the vinegar. Okay. We're, uh, we're experiencing technical chewing difficulties. It seems P. Meister has not moved on. No, I have. This tastes familiar. It's the vinegar. Well, it's like a salt and vinegar chip, but can you tell it's a different type of vinegar? It's a cider vinegar, and you can definitely taste it. Yeah, tastes really familiar. So these are all made in Scotland. I always think it's funny where the caloric content is normally, and it says calorie. They always have energy as the... Uh, because it shows the kilocalories. Maybe these are the best chips. I really taste them. I like them. You can't give everything a it 10. It was the best. Okay. Chip. 1 through 10. 1 through 10. For the chip. 1 through 10 on this potato chip. Mm -hmm. What would you give it? Mm -hmm. I know what's coming. Let's see if you can... You, you can. Now remember. 1 through 10. You can do... I, I, my score for one through 10 on these, I've had, I've had better. They're, they're good, but I've had better. I would say, uh, as far as, um, a little different because of the cider vinegar, I would say 6.8, yeah. 6.8. What it, you, you can't, you got to give your own I'll... score. Don't ride on the coattails. Of the... <laughs> I don't know what 6.8 means. Well, those are 1 through, just like just okay, like so in figure skating, you have 1 through 10. So you have 1.1, um, 1.2, 1. 1. 1. Okay, so 1.3. I don't think it is. I mean, 1, 3, 4, 5, you know what I mean? It's an 8. An 8. Okay. Hold on, let me have one more. Oh. Exactly why we're called brownie hounds. Always, not only on the search for new and exciting snacks and uh, different treats, but also always on the search to get their hands on them and eat them. Anyway. Okay, let's go back to sweet. I think... I already know Ooh. that these are going to be amazing. And if you're from the UK and you know toffee pops. Toffee pops, toffee filled biscuit, which in the UK, a biscuit in the Americas, a biscuit is known as a cookie. In the UK, they call cookies. Biscuits. Yes. Um, with chocolate flavored coating. I have a feeling mm. this is going to be pretty delicious. Um, they must be very small. Toffee Pops. Um, stop! Exclamation. Before you even think about tearing into these cookies, you need to get up, walk into your kitchen, and turn on the tea kettle because 
Tea time is about to happen. We don't have time for tea. It is well past noon. Um, we're gonna tear into these. No, well, we don't need tea. And I don't really like drinking tea. Yeah. Like you don't want to upset our uh, UK followers and watchers by telling them that tea is gross. It's um, not like gross. I used to drink it. Yeah. So let's let's move on. Okay. Um, I like tea. Yeah. Still like tea a little bit. Oh man, there's a lot of weight. Oh. There's a lot of weight on this cookie. There's a lot of it's a lot of heft on this cookie. It looks like a really good biscuit. Okay. pretty much like I thought it would be. I could see how dipping this in your tea would be very good. Oh man. That chewiness. You should have these at parties. Now I'll tell you, that's a rich cookie. Um, very good. Never tasted a cookie like that. I would say the chocolate really reminds me of something, and I can't put my hand on it. I would say um, one through ten, definitely for a biscuit. I would say this is going to be wildly high. I would say eight point eight on that. Um, 9.8. That seems, that, that, that seems just like my score, but flipped. Yeah. This is, eventually, well, I believe I she'll mean, catch like, on to the scoring system. Well, I mean system. a 9.9. .9. That's not Wow. Mean. You realize you're on the edge of 10. Hmm. That's know. very close to 10. I think that that's a little high, but I, I can't judge. Okay. Um... We're going, so we're going to go back to a salty snack. These, I have had my eyes on these since we opened this box. Um, this is, this is a, a wild looking snack. A very wild looking snack. Um, this is, where are these from? These are Johnny's pickled onion rings. Oh, I don't like onion rings. No, it's not a real onion ring. It's a oh. potato chip. Yeah. Um, I would say they're from Livingston. Golden Cross Snacks. Johnny's. Okay, so it's a corn. It's a corn snack. Made with corn, just like uh, a lot of our corn snacks are here. I have a feeling it's going to be like what we have here, Funyuns. Except Funyuns that we have here in the States are not pickled. So these, I mean, the, the packaging is very wild. It has a man playing an accordion. Um, it looks like um, he's wearing a beret and has a very... Curly mustache. Some people might say majestic, like a unicorn. <laughs> Anywho, let's get into these. So, these are. There is definitely. Kind of a, a, a vinegary thing happening again. Like vinegar uh, chips, like salt and vinegar chips. It's very vinegary. But okay. they're good. You won't the vinegar happens after a second. They're different. I wouldn't say gross. You got to put the whole thing in to really get the experience. 
They're much smaller than Funyuns, so. Yeah. They're very. Like this. A tiny circle shape. Do you get that? Like that, an O. You gotta take the whole thing at once, because it. No, the whole, whole, the whole thing. Okay, now you'll feel the. Here comes the tang. Do you feel it? I'd say highly unusual. They're not gonna blow my socks off with the score. I would at least say it's five point three. Yeah. It's not the best. Six point three. Do you see? I see. I, I see a a a trend happening here, a, a, a constant rhythm. And I want six point three. Okay. All right. Would I say five point three? Okay, I would say, but it, on the unusual scale, when we do the scaling for these, like I said before, which is part of the fun, and remember, there's also trivia that's on the uh, the passport with the descriptions and everything you, you want to know about these treats. Um, it is the most unusual I've come across so far out of this packaging. Um, so let's put that right here. Okay, that was salty. I've been looking at this. This is a very large box. Oh. These are well known to me here in the States. Um, this, this, is, this is a large box to come inside here. These are expensive here. Um, you can get them sometimes at places like World Market. Um, here in the States, these, this is a cookie or a biscuit. Or something. This is a very traditional. Now, it's a chocolate chip shortbread cookie. Um, typically, just plain shortbreads are a very traditional um, tea biscuit. Um, the, this is very, I mean, this is definitely traditional, but it does have chocolate chips in it, which changes it. Um, these are baked by hand. This is a very good biscuit. This is your classic, um, Dean's shortbread biscuit. Um, let's... Say let's get steady fit. In the packaging. So hard to open a packaging like that. Sometimes. Well, I just didn't want to mess up the box. Yeah, nobody I could rip into it like a savage. If I was very, very hungry, you've probably seen me open some some snacks like a like an animal. Hey, don't crush that. I know. I was getting excited there for a second. Now I'd say the the, the color like but the color on them it doesn't look too good. I, I think it should be a little more golden brown. It's a little white for my taste, but um let's see what we Muffins, miniature ones. I'd say so. There's one for you, and then let's, one for me. Let's honey. let's wait. Hold on. Whoa! Hey, hey! Little cheers hey. first. Hey. The butter is over the top. A lot of butter. I get the butter immediately. You taste butter immediately. I taste I a taste lot of butter. Shortbread cookies have a lot of butter in them. The butter is very high in a shortbread cookie. Pretty good. I couldn't eat many of these, so they would yeah, get. I would just maybe eat one or two. One. Yeah. yeah. But I would eat. I really like those cookies. Now these are going to be scaled high on the score anyway because. They're I already know what it. Yes, and I already know that there's a lot of quality in them. I would say. Eight point seven. On the steamed shortbread. I'm a, a shortbread cookie fan, though. Um, I don't think Penelope's going to give them as high of a score as that, though. Um, 8.3. That's still high. It's still good. Um, so the Deans. Uh, you can't say anything else. They're good. Um, we are going back to a salty good. snack. Um, the other thing... Um, 
That'd be so good. Okay. So we're going to go Mackie's again. This is the third Mackie's in here. The first one, Penelope didn't like so much. No, but you liked the second Mackie's. This was their same brand, and that was the salt and vinegar. Um, this one, Mackie's of Scotland, mature cheddar and onion, which is a typical. It sounds nicer, but I mean. We have a lot of chips coming. A lot of chips. Lot, I knew there would be a lot of really good salty snacks that came from the UK. Yeah, this one, this, I like the blue bag. This again looks like that it's going to be like, like I said before, like those old little cans of potato sticks um, that you would find in the grocery store, like those, but a. Do they taste the same? Different flavor for sure. Different flavor. I like, but I like this, this, this flavor, it, it, it reminds me, it takes me back, it's reminiscent of those little potato sticks really that I had when I was a child. No, there's not a lot of flavor. Yeah. It's not a lot of flavor. I, I taste the, taste you it. taste the potato more than anything. So, mm. it's only getting a high score because it reminds me of the little potato sticks. Beyond that. It's not a lot of wow factor, but it does take me back to my childhood about those little potato sticks in the can. So I'm gonna say 6.5. I wanna say 3.3. Yeah, you're not, a, you're not a big fan. I'm, what, what do you, you what know do it's you, almost over No, it's not, it's okay, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, it's fine. Mama left it, it's, We'll edit this out later, but mm -hmm. you gotta, you can't do that. I you know. can't do that in the middle of our show, okay? I know. Okay, I have, shh, I have to edit this out later. Okay, so not a lot of wow factor there, but again, like I, I like the flavor. This is something that I was waiting for for a while. I was holding these off <gasps> wagon wheels, chocolate covered marshmallow oh. cookies with raspberry jam. This looks wild. We won't open both. It came with two of them. Like I said, this is the mid-range package. Um, taste, the, the marketing on it is amazing. Uh, these uh, jam-filled cookies, also known as jammies. Um, wagon wheel jammies. The marketing is amazing. It has a cowboy riding a stagecoach, kicking up dust, horses galloping, the whole thing Ooh. is is very exciting to me. Um, I wish we had marketing like this on our uh, treats. Our treats sometimes. This yeah. looks... That looks like a giant Oreo. It looks amazing. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hold on for me. Brownie hound. You get the jam too? I don't get the jam. I get the white. There's some jam. Side. There's jam in it. You can see it. Huh? It's only a thin layer, see? I see it. Here. I see the jam. Here. Uh -huh. No, that's the jam. Okay. I'm not a big fan of jam, though. I do like it. You eat sandwiches all the time that has jam. Okay, we are moving on. Well, I'm doing 10 feet. Just eat the whole thing. Just eat it. This is what happens. This is how it starts. You get the chocolate and the sugar inside this little sugar bear. 
again, brownie hounds. So this is our first of many uh, videos, tutorials, um, that sort of thing. So if you like our content, you can subscribe. But we're not done yet. Hold on a second. The rest is all sweet, but now this dreamy, creamy toffee, whack, then unwrap, enjoy. Uh, gluten free for all the uh, for all the the uh, gluten free folks out there. Uh, it should be it's, it's candy. England's finest walkers. None such. Hmm. But it says whack it, then unwrap. So I'm guessing that's what you do with the toffee. You break it up, see? Like a breaking like a broken heart. He's in the shape of a heart right here. Yep. Like a Very good. Alright. So, there's a little piece of toffee for you. I don't want to eat too much toffee. It's really bad for our teeth. Hey, there's a bug. We don't like bugs. Here, just take that piece. Don't eat the whole thing, though. It's a little... I just start licking it so it can get soft. That's good toffee. That's, That's soft. very good toffee. What do you think? I can tell you right away, that's like a, maybe like a 7.7. Seven point seven. I'm going to go for an 8.8. That's good talk. Actually, 9.9. .9. That's wildly high. Wild. That's up there. I like it. Um, but, like I said again, it's toffee. I'm a huge toffee fan. But English toffee, real English toffee, amazing. Yeah, but you might we want to be careful of toffee in your teeth. That's what I said. I've had a lot of fillings. Penelope is about to one, two, four, that. have a tooth pulled out in first fillings. I had lots of fillings as a child. Again, we're brownie hounds. Yep. This, I'm not going to open it and rate it. And I'll tell you why. Don't, don't go crazy. These are like little extra little candies. They have walk, they have uh, more little walkers, um, toffees inside there. Um, are you done with that one? I'll take it. No, no. There you go. Um, they In all of the yums that come through, they always have these little bags. I'm not generally a fan of these bags, but they're kind of fun. They have little candies in them. They're not the best, usually, um, but they're not the worst, either. This one has caramels in them. It has toffees in there. And then all of them seem to have some sort of kind of low-end, hard Fun. candy in them. Fun. But I'm not going to rate it. Um, if I saw something in there that seemed like it was had a lot of wow factor, I might bring it out. But this is pretty much how they look every single time. No, um, but come on. It's not like the same candy. Well, no, no. I hope I didn't uh, discourage you that way. No, it's always from the location... This one's from the UK. The others were from Brazil. The other ones were from Taiwan. Um, but all in all, I'd say favorite box so far, for sure. What do you think? Yeah. Favorite box. Um, I definitely, if you're looking for something fun to do, it would be. This. Um, yeah, but if you're looking for something fun to do with, with your daughter. Or with your dog, or maybe not dog. Not no, dog. No. Um, maybe like a 
sister and brother. Yeah, or? and 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 every month you don't know what where it's gonna come from. You don't know what sort of snacks and candies uh, um, you good? can you can get. Um, are we gonna try one of those? We we already had. No, we're not gonna rate these. We're not gonna rate the bags. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. I don't think there's a reason to. I'd say if you want to do something. If you want to do something um, fun, um, this is definitely something you can do. We're not just going to um, be reviewing Universal Yums. We'll review other snacks, other things that we find. Um, but for now, um, if you like our content and you like watching this, um, subscribe below. And uh, we'll this, see you later. But give this video a big thumbs up. Exactly. And ring the bell. Two thumbs up. Yeah.